Hi, I'm John the Engineer, and Occupy Toronto, November 12th, was interesting because I ran into an old ally from a quarter century or more ago, Michael Green. And when I had joined the Green Party of, Ontario, of Canada back in 1984, founding convention at my alma mater, Carleton University, um, at that time is when I financed the very first LED software, and I should have my little decal up here, I always wear, in 1984, and we called the alternate currency, time-based currency, green dollars. And uh, so within a year, I'd been thrown out of the Green Party of Canada by eight people. And uh, in the meantime, and they condemned me for promoting my own idea without my El Duce leader's permission. And Michael Green continued pushing for Let's for the next few years. And by 1988, Let's had been adopted on the Green Party of Canada program. Now, it's been adopted by Green Parties in Australia, New Zealand, the UK, quite a few spots around the world if you check my webpage. And, uh, but the Green Party of Canada have since removed Let's Alternative Currency from their political program. So bad people have taken over. But Michael Green was the hero who pushed Let's through onto a political party for the first time in history. And I ran into him. So here's Michael Green and how he helped Let. Now, I'm John Turmel, and uh, yeah, that's John. in your, uh... 1984, I joined the Green Party of Canada, and it was at the same time I financed this LET software, and we right. called the interest-free, yeah. time-based money Green Dollars. Yeah. Now, we tried to get it instituted into the Green Party of Canada, and they ended up throwing me out and banning it, but Michael Green continued pushing for LETS, and by 1988, the LETS time-based Green Dollar software was on the Green Party of Canada program officially, thanks to Michael Green. Now, they've since taken off advocating interest-free money with the Green Party of Canada, but this is the man who put the LED software on the political agenda, officially, first time ever, and I want to say thank you, Michael Green, for having been the man who did that, and supported me, and didn't like me being thrown out without, a, without an appeal. So, thanks, okay. Michael, I just, well, what's we'll your name? And this is Megan, his daughter, so I just want to tell you how honored I am to meet Michael Green after 20-some years when he's the guy who kept Let's Alive in the Green Movement. And now it's in every other country except Canada's Greens. So that's la vie. Thank you very much. You're welcome, John. So anyway, that was Michael Green, the man who did so much for Let's in the early years within the Green Party. And he founded his own only party of Ontario during the last campaign. He's the guy who called me up and said, hey, I'm founding a party. And I said, whoa, I thought it took half the ridings covered, 54, 57 or whatever. And he said, no, no, just two candidates. And that's why I went out there and decided I was going to found my own pauper party of Ontario. So thanks for his telephone call, serendipity, and serendipity from the past, too. And the rest is just a little bit of music, a few new songs near the end, and a few comments, but nothing in particular about the Argentine solution, and didn't bother uh, videotaping the march. Bye.
fight song. Recognize that one? It's Barakani. All right. All right, we'll do a gypsy song. They like those last time. Fire, homeless people, violins. crowd, aren't you? All right. songs then. Dance number four. Start slow, speeds up. Yeah. Number four.
new one. Beautiful. I just learned the first song after 35 years, a new perfect, one. Perfect. I like perfect. that perfect. one. Perfect. Out of us. All right. Okay, play some rock and roll. <laughs> All right. song he just trails off and he can't do those thirds he goes I go see the difference I don't have to push so hard <laughs> more notes all right a really fast one Whoa. this is called the rumba that way oh yeah some Fingers go on this one. I should have smoked the joint. Ah.
Little Underground Casino with 21 blackjack, 7 holding tables. And I got community service, the accordion saved me then. And it saved me in 1981, I got out of jail then. Gambling offense. And in 2003, I went on Parliament Hill with 7 pounds of marijuana to prove the law was dead. And I got a hundred hours community service again. <laughs> so I could have had a life sentence. <laughs> so I'm a reformer who's invulnerable with my accordion as my shield. Okay, any requests? Something your parents might like. The Godfather. I play all the old folks' homes every Tuesday, you know. Practice, so it keeps me sharp. A tango! Anybody know a tango? Yeah. 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 All right, here's a famous one.
Ryan and Bull fight song. There's a bird line there. Right. Rory, John, John, Ryan.
time to go join the march, eh? Yeah. Okay. And if next Saturday's nice, I come again with the accordion. I'm coming either way. Saturday's my day. Hey, I pick it at the Bank of Canada in the 80s with 22% interest rates every Thursday for five years while they busted millions of families out of their houses. I was in front of the Bank of Canada five years every Thursday though. That's sustainable. So I'll be back here every Saturday even if they boot everybody out. Marching in one single file down the street to the Bank of Canada. So, and Parliament. I never got busted. They even let me into the Queen's receiving line with a protest sign in 1983. Can you believe that? I could have bopped the Queen. No shit. Well, don't forget they busted me for gambling so many times and seen me protesting so many times, they all knew me. So cop came with me, but they didn't stop me. Walked right into her receiving line. I was in the third one, you know, she's walking by looking at my sign. Abolish interest, please! I'm not gonna hurt her, right? It's not like an angry guy with no answer. Wah!